Welcome to Topedia Road. We're going to discuss today about flowering plants. On the previous video, we already defined what is flowering plants. When we say flowering plants, that is a flower with reproductive organ. They play a vital role in pollination by attracting animals, birds, and other flies to transfer the pollen grains. Also, they are also called as angiosperms. Flowering plants are different types of flowers according to the presence or absence of the different parts in the same floral structure. Based on whether all of the floral organs, sepal, petal, stamen, and pistils are present or any one is absent, flowers are classified as either complete or incomplete. So as you can see in the picture, we have the complete flower and also the incomplete flower as also called as for complete we have the mono issues and also the diocese first we have the complete flower when we see complete flower that is flowers containing all four floral appendages also contain all the floral structures including the stigma petal under filament stamen sepal, pedicle, ovary, ovals, pistils, and both male and female part of the flower are included with complete flower. As for example, for complete flower, we have the gumamella or china rose. It also has scientific name as hibiscus rosa sinensis. Next, we have the incomplete flower. This flower clacking any of the four floral structures and missing one or more flower structure. As you can see in the image, this is the incomplete flower. So what is the difference between perfect and imperfect flower types? Flowers that contain both sexual floral organs, stamen and pistil, are called perfect or bisexual or homopredic and horror which has called as at hermaphroditic, while those that contain either stamen or pistil only are called imperfect or unisexual flowers, regardless of whether they have or lack either sepal or petal or both. All complete flowers are also perfect. The flower of rice, a member of the family Graminae, although incomplete, is perfect. All beans and peas have perfect flowers. The separation of the male and female sexual organs increases the possibility of outcrossing or cross-pollination. Cross-pollination will be discussed in the following video. Imperfect flowers are found in corn, semi-mice, squash, cucurbita maxima, either gout, or that's called as momardica charantia, watermelon, Sertrolis lunatus, and coconut as called also as Cocos nucitifera. Imperfect flowers that bear pistils only are called pistillate, flowers considered female flowers, and those that bear stamens only are called staminate flowers. Considerate also the male flowers. In corn, the miniature ear that is born on the leaf axil is an influence sense containing pistillate flowers and the uh, axil or silks that protrude of the tip are elongated styles. The corn tea cells which arises of the apical part of the plant shot as an inflorescence bearing staminate flowers. To sum it up, there are three distinct individual flower types. First, we have the pistillate for female, staminate for male, and perfect both pistil and stamen are present. They are used as species in classifying plant species as well as the sex of the individual plants. Some rules of thumb and buds. First, we have all complete flowers are perfect because they necessarily have both the stamen and pistil. Example, hibiscus, roses, beans, and pea. But not all imperfect or incomplete flowers are imperfect 
because both test dominant P cell may be present and what makes the flower incomplete is the absence of either sepal or P cell or both. For example, the flower of rice is incomplete, there being no sepals and petals, but it is perfect with both stamen and pistil. Third, we have all imperfect flowers are incomplete because either the pistil or stamen is lacking. Example, the staminate and pistillate flowers of squash. But not all perfect flowers are complete because even though both stamen and pistil are present, the flower is incomplete due to the absence of either or both the sepal and petal. For example, for this we have the rice. Flower types affecting pollination. As to synchrony in the maturation of the male stamen and female pistil, flower spawns, parts, flowers are called dichogamous when the two organs mature at different time. Dichogamy, as in the avocado, is a natural mechanism by which plants avoid self-pollination within the same floral autogamy, thus reducing inbreeding and conversely promoting outcrossing. Dichogamous flowers are either protatious or protogynous. Protatious flowers, as in carrot, are those in which the stamens mature ahead of the pistils so that by the time that the stigma becomes receptive, the pollen grains within that same floral structure was already shed. Protogyny is the reverse of protandry. The stigma of protagonist flowers, as in the water lilies, becomes receptive while the pollen grains are still immature. Flower types also differ depending on whether they open or remain closed during the pollination period. Casmagus flowers are open during the period of pollination and are generally cross-pollinated and the creostogamous flowers of tomato, lettuce, and some rice species the flowers do not open during the period of pollination and thus these plants are largely self-pollinated. So thank you for listening to Wikipedia Worlds. This is Ms. Kara.